this is a subject near and dear to my heart because I am a cool toned, extremely fair redheaded person. I know there's others of you out there who probably struggle with finding colors that work for our skin tone. I'm specifically going to talk about cool to neutral toned to even maybe a little bit warm toned sort of browns. That is one of those colors that I really love to wear with a lot of my clothes. But when you go to shop for those things, you mostly find very, very warm browns. If at all, you kind of find almost oranges. And with this going on, no, it just clashes really, really bad. So I'm gonna give some recommendations. Over the years, I have collected a whole bunch of different toned browns that will really work for us. So let's start with the one that I already have on my lips. This is Caramel Glossé 103 in Revlon. Really, really pretty. I would say that this is neutral, slight leaning warm, but it is a very, very flattering, very beautiful color. And it's got this beautiful finish that is a really nice sheen to it. These are not expensive, they're Revlon. So definitely recommend this one for sort of an everyday, it's not too dark, but it's also not too light. And it's just a stunning color that really sticks out and kind of gets people's attention. I think this is absolutely beautiful. Let's go cooler and even darker brown. This is definitely a little more dramatic, but you know, sometimes, especially like in the fall, you have these rich mocha browns and you're enjoying wearing them and you don't have any lipstick that really goes with it. So you end up wearing something sort of boring. Let's not be boring. This is 315 Iced Mocha. And this one is cool. It also has that little bit of sheen, keeps it from being this dead looking brown. It's also very, very comfortable. This is a good formula. I actually have been staying away from these little Revlon bullets because I thought I remembered that I didn't like the formula. I don't, maybe they've changed it, um, but I think this formula is actually quite comfortable, very nice. I think it also used to have more of a smell and I don't smell anything on this, which I really appreciate. Some of the other brands, the drugstore brands, they are highly scented and you can taste it. Uh, not my favorite. So you can go fully dark with this, which I think is stunning. It's very nice. I love that sheen. You can totally wear this during the daytime. I mean, you can wear whatever you want, but <laughs> I don't think that this is going to like scream, ooh, you, you're doing a makeup look. You could blot this and make it a little bit lighter. There we go. You can put a lip gloss over it. This is just an essence extreme shine. This is going to warm it up a little bit. But these are $4 glosses that are such high quality. They make your lips feel so good. And there, it's still fairly cool, but it just looks a little more natural. It's not such a statement lipstick, but you still have this beautiful color that works with your cool toned fair skin. This is a Maybelline Cream Lipstick in 940 Touchable Taupe. This is a wonderful formula. It is super comfortable. You can easily compare this with high end. This is a great formula. This color is beautiful. It leans cool, but it's got sort of a mauve red undertone. Again, that's gonna work better for cool undertone skin. That's just beautiful. Now, I wouldn't wear this necessarily with a completely dead, cool, almost grayish brown. But if you have sort of a rich chocolatey brown, this would be perfect. It would be very complimentary to it. And it's super, super comfortable. Really like this formula. I know I said it like three times. I like it. <laughs> and for our final bullet style lipstick, this is... L'Oreal Color Riche All Out Pout 978. This one is warmer. This is one that I will wear 
when I'm wearing sort of rust colors. It does lean a little orange, but it rides that line. You can also see it's got sort of a muted mauve in there as well. That's what makes it wearable. This is also a very comfortable formula, but it is more of a comfortable matte formula. Really like this as well. Now say you wanna adjust this. This is just a little bit too warm, like really doesn't go with what I'm wearing today. This is where my lip glosses come in. Probably my number one lip gloss for adjusting cool. I actually have two, but this is the one that's only $4. This Essence Milky Cocoa, it's their extreme care. This just does the trick. Depending on how orange you have something, it may take a couple of swipes. But you can see, look at that. And for $4, this is the perfect lip gloss to have in your arsenal to adjust any lipstick that has just gone way too warm. Something that us cool tone girls run into a lot, especially if you're fair. A lot of times the cooler tones end up being very, very dark lipsticks, which, you know, you can still wear those, that's fun, but if you're looking for cool, medium to light toned lipsticks, that is challenging. Don't think that most people have our coloring, so that's not what they cater to. Just makes sense, you know, they have to make money, right? <laughs> so this one, you can wear it all by itself, or you can use it to adjust this is my secret weapon. I have one other that does the exact same thing, but good luck finding it. I got this in a BoxyCharm. It's a Natasha Denona Lip Euphoria lip gloss, and it is very similar, only it's even thicker than this Essence formula. It smells like cinnamon. It seems like it would be plumping, but I don't feel any plumping, but it smells like a plumping lipstick. It smells like cinnamon. It does a fantastic job as well. I think I got it for less than $10 through the Boxy Drop shop. I have never seen this anywhere else, but if you happen to see it online and you're looking for this kind of thing, go for it. It is another great milky cocoa color that really, really uh, adjusts colors down to cool. It's called mauve. I don't know in what world that that is even remotely mauve. It's not, but if you're looking for it, it's called mauve. <laughs> All right, here we go. Heavy cinnamon scent. Oh, my poor lips, they're all red. We'll see if we can cover it with this. All that rubbing. So there's the Natasha Denona one. It's reading a little bit warmer than what you're seeing here because it's trying to cover up very, very red, irritating lips. <laughs> what are you gonna do? And finally, I have two long wear lipsticks that actually are a cool sort of brown. I just recently found this. This is the Kiko Milano long wear lipstick. And I love this stuff. I mix this with other things all the time just to bring the tone of other things down, especially pinks. This goes great with pinks that are just a little bit too rosy or too peach, which is like all the pinks. This one glides on really, really easily. Once it dries, it does get kind of dry and is not as comfortable. That's why I like wearing it with other lipsticks. Ooh, that's so pretty. I think when you manage to get a true cool nude, it reminds me a lot of the 90s supermodel look. It just, it looks so classy. The problem is usually you can't find ones that go with our skin tone without it looking very orangey or like dead gray. So this is why I wanted to help you guys out. This one is number 130. You can order it off their website, although they're always, always out of stock. They have a bunch of colors. They're all beautiful and they're almost always out of stock. This one I found on Amazon. You pay a little bit more for them on Amazon, um, but they get there faster because they're not coming from Italy. <laughs> so at any rate, love this for long wear. It does come with this clear side. See, now it's getting sticky, which does make it more comfortable. So I would normally use this, but I'm gonna show you another lip gloss on top of it that is also very pretty, but I love this just by itself.
L'Oreal Infallible 8 Hour Pro Gloss in Dolce de Leche 825. These are super pretty. I love the colors and this really brings it up a level and makes it more luxe looking. So pretty. I have exactly one complaint about these. I absolutely love all the colors that they have available because they have a lot more cool tones and really interesting pretty colors but because they are a long wear gloss which is not something you usually get they go on nice and smooth but then they get sticky. The stickiness is not like you know where you've got the strings and it's really gross like that it's just that you keep feeling your lips kind of sticking together. It's you feel it more. It's not like a moisturizing gloss where it's like, oh, I just put it on and it feels like I put some sort of lip balm on and everything feels a lot better now. No, so I don't like that, but I will say it looks like you freshly applied your gloss for much longer throughout the day because it has that long wear stickiness. It certainly is not transfer proof. It will get all over the place if you were to you know, touch it but it does stay fresh looking. It doesn't disappear like most glosses are sort of like a moisturizer almost and they just sort of, you know, wear off and disappear. And I actually like the way those feel a lot better, but you have to reapply them a lot. These, once you apply them, they do stay. They're just not very comfortable, but you can always put a nice moisturizing gloss on top of them, like a clear gloss, or you can use you know, the CeraVe healing ointment, you know, just basically a Vaseline product that's going to break them up a little bit, but it will make them a lot more comfortable. So, I mean, it's up to you. The only reason I think I'm recommending them is because the colors are gorgeous. Um, there's a whole bunch of them and I had to control myself. I was not very good in the store the other day, so <laughs> I brought too many of them, not realizing how sticky they were. I kind of don't care. I think I'm going to wear them anyway because they are just really pretty colors. My last one, and this is one I've been using for years. I absolutely love this. I use it as a liner and by itself. L'Oreal Matte Lip Crayon in Lavender Honey. I use this as a base for a lot of my other lipsticks when I want a cool undertone. You can use it as just a liner but it's a long wear one, so it doesn't budge once you get it down, which is really handy. By itself, not the most comfortable. It is dry, but when you doctor it with a gloss or a different lipstick, it's very, very pretty. Mm, I love that. So I know this is more of a mauve, but it is a great base for other browns, since that's what we're talking about today. So I'm gonna do one last gloss. This is the Natasha Denona My Dream Collection Gloss. This one is kind of along these same lines, but a little more milky and a little more brown. It is extremely comfortable, very luxe and very pretty. You can easily wear this with a brown look. Even though technically you're in what I think I would call a nude, kind of color for a fair skinned, cool toned girl or guy. It's still going to stay fairly long wear, especially around the edges. So there you have it. A nice collection of very cool toned browns to nudes that really work for fair skin, cool toned skin tones. These are things that took me quite a while to find. And so I figured those of you who are like me, I'm going to save you some of the hassle. These are some ones that you can check out if you liked any of the ways that these looked. I hope that helps. If you have any of your favorite cool tone nudes and browns that you would like to share, I would love to try some new ones myself. Also, it would really help me if you can like and subscribe if you're not already. It really helps my channel grow and I really hope to reach more people with my honest beauty reviews. I don't take PR, promotions, any of that stuff. These are just items that I buy because I am a beauty enthusiast and I absolutely love sharing and talking about makeup. So 
I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and thanks again for joining me.